What is going on? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the Galaxy S25 Plus. We've been talking about the specs and what to expect, and they've been updated a little bit with some more information. I did this about the S25 Ultra the other day, so I will link it down below so you can watch that in case you missed it. But let's jump into the S25 Plus with its 6.7 inch dynamic AMOLED 2x with 120 hertz variable refresh rate. It will be 2K plus uh, resolution on there like it was with the S24 plus. So you have that to look forward to with its M13 OLED material set with 2600 nits peak brightness. So it should be basically the same as next year. Now, this might change, so if it does, it will definitely update, but that's what we're looking at thus far. Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, which is a game changer in terms of performance. 40, up to 40% more performance in gaming and day-to-day -day tasks and just CPU, GPU, everything. It's amazing. The scores on it are absolutely ridiculous. This thing is gonna be a complete powerhouse. It's insane how powerful this thing is. 12 gigs of RAM on the S25 Plus, which is nothing to um, be upset about. Would it be great if they pushed all these phones up to 16 gigs? Definitely, but you're not gonna get it with the S25 Plus. 256 and 512 gigs of storage with prices coming in at 999 and 1119 most likely with that. So ooh, kind of expensive, but I love the 999 price. That's very attractive. Having 256 gigs of storage, a Snapdragon 8 Elite, 12 gigs of RAM, a beautiful display, good cameras. That's a nice little sweet spot right there. Speaking of the cameras, you're looking at 50, 12, 10, and 12 uh, for the back cameras and then 12 again on that selfie camera. Kind of what you'd expect, 30X zoom on there as well. 4,900 milliamp is the same battery as last year, and we've been hearing about that, so again, no change on that. Colors, you're looking at Midnight Black, Moon Night, Blue, Silver Shadow, Sparkling Blue, and Sparkling Green. If I had to choose out of any of these, right now anyway, I would probably choose maybe Moonlight Blue, that kind of sounds interesting, or Sparkling Blue, or Sparkling Green maybe? Those sound, again, kind of interesting for colors of a phone. Charging 45 watt wired and 15 watt wireless. Same as last year, no changes in that. 7.3 uh, millimeters thin versus 7.7 .7 in last year. So you are get, getting an improvement with that, which is nice. You always want these things to get, like maybe not always, but if they're, gonna, if they're not gonna increase the battery size, sure, make the phone lighter and thinner. I don't have uh, any announcement on the weight, but I would assume it's gonna be lighter as well. One UI 7.1 based off Android 15. Um, they haven't even launched One UI 7 for the public yet at the time of making this video, but they should be very, very soon. New Bixby AI enhancements, which is going to allow you to communicate easier and better and get more information through a uh, Bixby. It's telling it, hey, I'm going here. What's around there? It'll tell you stuff like that. Or, hey, what's the weather today? And it will tell you the weather and it'll tell you what to wear potentially if it's raining or really hot or something like that. Seven years of OS and security upgrades. Very par for the course. Don't be surprised if this goes up to eight because of that Snapdragon 8 Elite. They mentioned that it can handle eight years of updates from Android, but we'll wait and see if that the rest of the companies end up doing that because it does cost a lot of money to keep um, supporting these devices that far into its life cycle. January 2025 release date still is what we're thinking. Um, don't be surprised potentially if it gets pushed into February though, but yeah, looking really eerily similar to the S24 Plus. Um, you know, even if you have the S24 Plus, I don't think you're gonna miss all that much. Your phone's probably lightning fast, takes good photos, charges fast enough, has good battery life. Like it does the, the basics really well and it can even do beyond the basics really well. So I don't think if you're, you know, at the time of making this video, you know, if you're, if, if, if you're happily with your phone, happy with your phone, you probably don't need to upgrade, but that's what you're getting for the S25 Plus. Let me know if you're gonna upgrade to it and why. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.